is Sean Trehe. Uh, we're doing behind the bars for Trans World Motocross. And this is the My Plash Metal Militia Yamaha team. Uh, working with Kyle Cunningham is great. Um, Kyle is a real go-getter. I mean, you can obviously tell just by his, uh, his riding style that, you know, he likes to lay it all out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice working for somebody that, you know, is, uh, you know, leaving it all out on the track. Uh, yeah, he's actually fairly particular about almost everything uh, from tire pressure to uh, grips, lever position, bar position, anything of that nature. Yeah, I think the, the usual thing is, is is to move it up, then down, and then just put it right back where it was. But it's uh, you know it's 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 a it's all it's all for confidence. But yeah, for support, um, you know Yamaha definitely uh, helps us out as much as they can. But um, it's still a private you know privately owned deal with uh, Bobby Reagan, and um, you know this year My Plash and Metal Militia stepped up, and um, you know they're really. Uh, Really trying to, um, you know, get the bikes, you know, as good as they possibly can, and give, you know, all these guys the best opportunity they can to hopefully go out and get some podiums or some wins. Yeah, as soon as we got the Air Forks, I mean, everybody, you know, seemed to be a huge fan, and you know, the difference was pretty substantial. You know, just from everybody else, like uh, the mother mechanics and all the other riders, all the feedback's been super positive, and it really, really seemed to help Kyle out. Now, it was pretty immediate how um, how he liked them. I mean, it wasn't even. It wasn't even a question. It was, I think, the first time we ended up putting them on the bike. I don't think we ever even went back to the conventional stuff ever again to, for a second opinion. So, yeah, as a test rider, um, he usually uh, usually tends just to overthink it a little bit, maybe overanalyze some of the, some of the uh, some of the tests we end, end up running. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, he knows what he wants and he knows what he needs. So. Uh, you know, we've been able to uh, get the bike pretty dialed um, now that I think it's his uh, fourth year on the team, I believe. So it's uh, it's just been refined every year. It's it's great to have Ryan around because um, you know there's a lot of things that you know we may not have you know all the time. You know, just just time constraints. You know, limit what we can run with our racers, and you know, with uh, you know, a couple of them not being in Southern California, it's kind of hard to get them to the test track. So it's nice to have Ryan around to just to run them through kind of the ringer with all the little stuff that we don't really have anybody to test for. So, uh, yeah, I mean, a, a big big help has been um, Causeworth. They've been a huge part of our program um, since the beginning, and uh, FMF as well has been real good. Um, Pro Taper as well this year. Um, we've got our new bars that we've been trying out. Kyle seems to be a, be a huge fan of. And um, other than that, we got Factory Effects keeping us looking fresh. I'm Sean Trehe, and that was Behind the Bars with My Flash Metal Motion Yamaha.